look at this! Nigel Farage, look at this! Boris Johnson, look at this! Michael Gove, look at this! Friends, whatever your political persuasion, let us say to friends in this audience, from France, from Italy, from Germany, from Spain, from Greece, across Europe, we love you, we stand with you, and we will fight this. I'm, I'm here first and foremost, first and foremost, as the son of immigrants. It is my honour and my privilege in representing Tottenham to represent the most diverse constituency in this country, and I'm proud. <laughs> but friends like you, in the last week or so, there have been huge ups and downs in my emotions. I have been so disappointed, depressed, angry at the racism, xenophobia and nastiness that this Leave campaign has unleashed in our country. I don't recognise a British people that would have black pensioners be evacuated from their day centre because they're in fear. I don't recognise a Britain in which young Muslims coming back from the mosque are attacked by someone with a crowbar. And let me say to those that have emailed me, that have written comments after some of the articles that I've written or been part of, I am not going anywhere. I was born in this country! This is my home, this is our home, and this will be my children's home. So we here are standing for unity, we're standing for hope, we're standing against division. And if we look at the campaign, as we think about these Etonians that have got us into this huge mess, an Etonian mess, and I've got to say, we need to send Ofsted in, that school is failing. We cannot cannot, cannot exit Europe on the basis of self-interest. Let's be clear what happened. David Cameron had a referendum to assuage the right in his party. It was not in your interest. Let's be clear what happened. Boris Johnson joined the other side because he wanted to be Prime Minister. Let's be clear what happened. Michael Gove first thought he wanted to be Kingmaker, he now wants to be Prime Minister. None of this, none of this is in our joint ship interest. And when they say the deal is done, let us be absolutely clear about our constitution. It was an advisory referendum. And if you combine the 48% that voted to stay 
and those that stayed at home, only 32% want to leave. And look, let us be absolutely clear. We stand here on the backs of great people. People who fought fascism in the Second World War. People who stood up to xenophobes and racists in our previous part. We stand on their shoulders. That's why we're united across political parties here this afternoon. And we must continue to fight for our democracy. My strong view is that we are standing outside the houses of Westminster because that is sovereign. So I say to you all in this audience, don't mourn the EU. Organise. Lobby your members of Parliament. Organise. Lobby your members of Parliament and say to them they must vote on whether we are going to press the Article 50 button. And let's be clear, also say to them the Leave campaign was based on lies. Let's run through them. Is there going to be 230 million for the health service every week? No! Is Turkey about to come into the EU? No! Can you have a trade deal and avoid free movement of people? No! Absolutely, life. And that's why we say Parliament has to take a look at this very, very clearly. Or let's put it back to the people in a referendum. And let's, let's be clear on this. Why? Why is this so crucial? As we stand here, it is the, and I say this from my heart, representing Tottenham. As we stand here, it is the poorest people in our country who will suffer. And why will they suffer? Because there is no plan. No plan. The pound is falling. Share prices are dropping, investment is drying up, our economy is in meltdown. There is no plan. So when you come up with a plan, let's bring it back for a vote. Let's bring it back for a vote and see where we are. <laughs> now my position as a Member of Parliament on behalf of my constituents is very, very clear. My promise to you is I will never, ever vote for Brexit. Yay! And I think you'll find, I think you'll find, and this is the hope, guys, if you organise, if you lobby hard, let's be clear, the Lib Dems aren't going to vote for Brexit. The Scottish Nationalists aren't going to vote for Brexit. The SDLP aren't going to vote for Brexit. The Greens aren't going to vote for Brexit. There are MPs like me in the Labour Party who aren't going to vote for Brexit. And when Ken Clark, when Ken Clark and Michael Heseltine also join the queue, guess what? There are Tories who aren't going to vote for Brexit. He's up the fight. He's up the fight, my friend. And let's just say. Let's just say one thing. We do know our history books. When mainstream politicians in a mainstream party stand alongside fascists, this is what happens. We know our history. We will not stand for it. We will fight. Thank you very much.